Hey guys, I'm Lisa and today I'm going to be talking about why I am no longer upside down on my car loan. So I'm making this video because it's actually a really popular video on my channel. I think it's the third most popular video on my channel. I wanted to make a follow-up video on it and it also has a lot of dislikes and very little comments. So it's like, thanks for the constructive criticism, guys. Like. I don't mind that you guys give it a dislike, but it's like, just tell me why you don't like it. Don't just give it a dislike and move on because that doesn't help me out as a content creator. Also on that video, I can see who's watching the video and it was a lot of people from the United States, which makes sense because us Americans love our debt. So I'm not hating on anybody, but that's what it is. It was like 95% of the views were Americans. So if you haven't seen that video and you are new here, I will either link it up above so you can watch it now or I will link it down below in the drop down menu so you can watch it after this video or at the end I will link it so you can watch it at the end of this video as well. So the summary of this story is I bought a car for $24,000 but I kept trading it in and I was $32,000, which means I had $8,000 in negative equity that I owed to my bank. And it was just a big mess. I only had 5% interest on the loan, but still, like, I just could not get caught back up on my loan, no matter how hard I tried. Never traded that car in for a dirt cheap car because I finally found a car that I loved and it was reliable and I didn't want to get rid of it for a cheaper car with an hour commute to and from work. So we got our taxes back and me and my hubby decided that it was going to go towards the loan because I personally was just sick of the burden it was putting on our marriage, I guess, and the argument. We, we actually didn't really argue about it. We just had like simple, he would pick at the subject basically. He would say, that's a nice Lambo you got out front, Lisa. <laughs> or he would say, well, we could go do this or we could buy this, but you have a Lambo out front, so we can't. <laughs> it was just like funny comments like that that he would say to me. We would never really like argue about it. Obviously, I didn't have a Lamborghini and my payments weren't that high, but the payments felt like I had a Lamborghini in the driveway. I'm not gonna lie about that. Fast forward five years later, which is now, I had a six year loan and I have finally paid off my car a whole year early. So anyways, I paid it off in April, I called up the bank um, they emailed me a quote, which was a lot lower than what I thought it was going to be, than what I thought it was going to be because of the principal of the loan. The added interest wasn't the total of what I owed, so I was pleasantly surprised with that, and yeah, I was happy because I didn't even think about that. I just thought. I would have to pay the total that was on my loan statement, which is the included interest. So then they sent me a letter in the mail saying that it was all paid off. So fast forward to now, which is June, and I got an email stating that my credit score had changed. So I checked it and it went up by 40 points, which doesn't make sense because credit is like what you owe, like your debt, and that's why you get credit. So it didn't really make much sense to me why it went up so much, but it did and I was very happy with that. But yeah, that's why I'm no longer upside down on my car loan. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions about this whole situation and I will be more than happy to respond. I love getting comments, they are the best. And also if you wanna consider subscribing to my channel, that would be awesome too. I put out videos every Monday and Wednesday, but basically they aren't about this subject. They are about like living in Germany with my family and being a mom, being an army wife. I hope you guys have a great Wednesday and I will see you guys next week. Bye.